If you ever find yourself in Iowa and are looking for an adventure and don't mind a little bit of hiking, South Pine Creek is one of the best kept secrets with one of the coolest gems in the Driftless region. So get your hiking boots on and come join me as we make our way to South Pine Creek and hopefully get on some native wild brookies. Good morning from South Pine Creek, folks. That is our first native wild Brookie Brook. Oh my gosh, did he ever just inhale that? Look at that freaking fly. Y'all, look at that little char. That is fantastic. Oh, well, just like that, he's gone. I'm going to get into it just a little bit later about why these fish are so freaking special. For now, Get back in and ride this morning bite for all that it's worth. <laughs> Boom, and we're back in the game. That's a good fish. Oh, that's a good fish. Are you kidding me? This is such a nice little brookie. Oh my gosh. He just inhaled that Goddard caddis. Are you kidding me? Sir, I need, I need that back, oh my gosh. The morning colors on that fish are just so freaking ridiculous. Look at that brookie beauty. These little char are unbelievable. That is so stinking cool. That is what we've gotten both of those brookies on. Just a real small Goddard caddis. Can't tell if it's probably like a size 16, 18, something like that, but brookies are fired up and they're munching. They're saying, give me a big bull. Get me a big bowl of Goddard Caddis, and I've got plenty. So let's keep getting back in there and <laughs> catch some more, man. This is so awesome. Oh, yeah, baby. Y'all actually have to be kidding me right now. Look at the way this brook trout just inhaled that Goddard Caddis. Are you kidding me? That is unfreaking real. Oh my gosh. Look at that freaking brook trout, man. That is so amazing. He is an all dime piece. Holy cow, let's get him back. All right, you know the drill at this point. Time to shake and bake. Are you kidding me? Holy cow. Oh yeah, baby, that's good. Let's see if we can get a cheeky two on this guy. He is fired up. Ooh. Look at the colors on that little brook char. That is so stinking unreal, man. Those speckles, his little, oh man, that's so sick. That is money right there, y'all. I love these fish. All right, let's get him back. Uh-oh. That was so sick. <laughs> oh man. You just gotta love when you know you're not supposed to be catching a fish, but you do anyway. My line went over a weed hanging off of the creek there and he came up and just hammered it, pulled it off the line, and uh, we got him in. This one, this one's a nice one too, check this out. Ooh, there we go. That is a little meadow muncher right there. Oh. And just like that, he's gone. <laughs> this is so fun, oh my God. Oh, I think I had two. I think I just had two. Oh no. Oh, oh we have one. Shoot. <laughs> this one's not bad either, golly. This cold water has him fired up. Look at that though. That is, that is Brookie morning action right there. Perfect little fish. Let's see if we can do a cheeky two on him. Oh, oh man, that's nice. <laughs> Let's get him back. <laughs> and if you thought a Goddard Caddis was cheat mode, we're going full Brookie cheat mode with a black leech. It doesn't get much more standard than that. Got that under my modified dry dropper as always, so 
I'm gonna move up and yeah, this this has been one run. That's it. This is unreal. That's a good fish. You have just gotten yourself all gunked up now, don't you? Come on. Look at this swamp monster mess he just made. What the heck, man? <laughs> Look at him, man. That is so amazing. Let's see if we'll really focus in there. Yeah, baby. Sunshine coming up. Got that leech right where it's supposed to be. That is so sick. There we go. That is one cool fish right there. Little brook char action. Taking it for the win. Let's get him back and see if we can't get some more. <laughs> For those of you at home wondering why I'm getting so geeked out over just a couple small brookies, it really has to go with what I was talking about earlier. These fish are so stinking special. You think about a lot of the trout streams here in the Driftless and even out east and out west, they're pretty artificial. Lots of stocked browns, lots of rainbows, and yeah, they might be wild now, but in a lot of places, native trout, they kind of get the short end of the stick. And that could not be more true here in the Driftless. There's a lot of, a lot of brown trout and a lot of uh, rainbow trout that work to outcompete the native brookies. That's why a stream like South Pine Creek is so freaking special. It's like been frozen in time, just away from all the development and all the stockings. It still holds the genetically pure wild native strain of brook trout the furthest western edge of its native range, we are at ground freaking zero. They're genetically different than the ones up in Minnesota. You go out east, they're genetically different than the ones in Wisconsin. It is seriously, it's like holding a piece of history in your hands and letting it go and it's like, this is the way it's been forever. So, I'm gonna stop geeking out. Well, I take that back. I gotta give a quick shout out to the Iowa DNR They've done an amazing job of not only researching this stream and the brookies here, but also protecting and regulating, as well as reintroducing this wild strain to other streams in the area to really to really keep that, that genetic purity through. So this is such an awesome stream. Any, any Driftless Sangers, you need to put this on your book and get out here quick. So with that being said, no more talking. Let's, let's get out there and fish. That's a good fish. That's, this, is, this is a good fish, folks. Oh, where are you going? Oh, come here, buddy. Come here, come here. Oh, yeah, baby. That is a freak. Oh, man, that's a nice... <laughs> that's a nice brook. Wow. Dang, man, and he's got a crooked smile, too. You can tell this one's been caught before. He's got a crooked smile on him but that is still an amazing brook trout. Oh my gosh, that is freaking so sweet. <laughs> Let's see if we can get him on the other side here. Get my good side, he says. That is, uh, that is by far my best brookie of the day. So freaking amazing, those colors are ridiculous. And he fought like the Dickens, man. I'm gonna get him back. <laughs> this is going so well. See ya. See ya. I wouldn't want to be ya. Mm, let's go, baby. That is so money. I am just having the best freaking morning right now. This is ridiculous. There we go. It's so cold right now. It's unreal. Let's see if we can get you a little look ski there. Not a bad guy. Perfect, perfect, perfect. I'll let him back. See ya, sir. <laughs> oh, I'm so cold. Is this serious? <laughs> this little brookie's got a crooked smile, too. He's cool, man. Cool, cool. Oh, hello. Oh, and just like that, he's gone. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. Goodness gracious, y'all. Wow. 
Yeah. He is all colored up in this morning light. We'll get him back. Oh, but the sun just came out. <laughs> Try two hander real quick. That is uh, that is complete money. Oh, and he's gone. I literally cannot feel my hands right now. My body is so freaking cold. I'm not. I'm not ready for it to be winter yet. Uh -huh. Another oh. really just chunk boy of a freaking brookie. These brook trout are just stacked, man. They, that is a nice, nice fish. We'll, uh, see him swim. Oh, guess we won't see him swim. He's gonna take care of it himself. <laughs> I'm very cool. As I continue my way upstream, a lot of the runs got a lot shallower, and the creek itself got a lot tighter and really hard to maneuver. So there wasn't much fish to be had the rest of this section. That barbed wire marks the end of my public land. So I think it's time to turn around and head back to the truck. But before we do, I just wanna go over three things real quick. First, being South Pine Creek itself. I had the opportunity to fish this body of water last fall, I think, and it was really cool to see it. Late fall, you know, everything was kinda of dead. You could really see the valley, but it was such a treat to get to see this amazing valley, forgotten by time, in the middle to end of summer. I mean, the bugs, the birds, everything is just singing. The flowers and the grass are just tall and vibrant as they've ever been and it's just, it's so freaking amazing and it makes me cry thinking about, oh my gosh, it's almost winter. Oh my goodness. Second thing I want to go over are the certain regulations here. You know, this is a very special body of water. So any of you that are looking to do some fishing here, check your regulations. Artificial lures only and catch and release on all brook trout. So really mind your P's and Q's when you're coming to a spot like this. And the third thing I want to go over is just the bite. You know, you fish, you guys like to hear about it. So I'm rocking my two, three weights. We got my dry setup and my dry dropper setup. And it's so key to be versatile, especially this time of year, because like this morning, they're boiling up on top, going after this Goddard caddis. And we caught a ton of fish on the dry, which was super cool. But as the sun started to get higher in the sky, we really had to target those deeper runs. And having the black leech with the grasshopper on top and being able to adjust depending on depth, I mean, that, I think that got us on a lot of fish. So super awesome time of the year to be out. You know, make sure whenever you're coming to a place like this to keep your feet in the water. And until next time, tight lines.